Computers are one of the best inventions that have been made. They open a lot of new opportunities in the investigation field and in many others. A computer is a general purpose device that can be programmed to carry out a set of arithmetic or logical operations. And there are two main types of computers. Data com computers are the ones capable of solving problems by processing information expressed in discrete form, by manipulating combinations of binary digits. It can perform mathematical calculations, organize and analyze data, control industrial and other processes, and simulate dynamic systems such as global weather patterns. Analog computers represent constants and variables with proportional analog voltage levels. These are then processed by various electronic circuits that perform the mathematical operations in analog form. The key processing circuit is the operational amplifier, a device whose output current is proportional to its input potential difference. It can be easily reconfigured to perform a wide range of mathematical operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, and divisions by a constant, integration and differentiation. There are big differences between analog and digital computers. The analog computers are faster because of the direct nature of the circuits even though they suffer electrical problems and limitations as the noise floor of the signal, the finite nature of the charge of an electron, microelectronic parasitic effects and temperature problems non-linearities. In the same way that a digital computer is slower because it has to process the binary code to perform a task. The analog computers are special purpose machines and digital computers can be programmed to solve a lot of different problems. Analog computers provide approximate answers as they are designed to represent electronically some magnitudes of real world and digital ones are accurate and provide exactly the right answer. Digital computers must be programmed before, before being used for any specific purpose, while the programming on analog computers is not necessary. Calculation relations are built and are part of them. Digital computers take binary code, 0 and 1. On the other hand, analog computers use continuous currents to do operations. The first analog computers. During the Second World War, mechanical analog computers were used to control guns. An analog computer would receive the firing ship's location, heading, the wind's direction, speed, and other parameters, as well as operator entered data concerning the type of projectile, the amount of explosive charge, and most importantly, the location of the target. The analog computer would then control the aiming of the gun. From 1950 to 1965, Electronic analog vacuum tube computers were used to design, test, and run civilian and military equipment, like aircraft, ships, or rockets. Analog computers have been widely used in simulations of aircraft, nuclear power plants, and industrial chemical processes. Other major uses included analysis of hydraulic networks and electronic networks. One of the most common modern applications of analog devices is in process control. A simple analog circuit using a few operational amplifiers may be used to control the temperature of an industrial process where the use of a digital computer is not warranted. Standalone analog computers are no longer used. Short for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator, the ENIAC was the first digital computer ever built. ENIAC could discriminate the sign of a number, compare quantities for equality, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and extract square roots. ENIAC stored a maximum of 20 10-digit decimal numbers. The ENIAC led the computer field during the period 1949 through 1952 when it served as the main computation workhorse for the solution of the scientific problems of the nation. 
It surprised all over existing computers put together whenever it came to problems involving a large number of arithmetic operations. It was the major instrument for the computation of old ballistic tables for the US Army and Air Force. In addition to ballistics, the NEX field of application included weather prediction, atomic energy calculations, cosmic ray studies, thermal ignition, random number studies, wind tunnel design, and other scientific uses. <laughs>